Hey everybody, Doll with a Dollar here, and today I'm going to be telling you guys about some really inexpensive things that you can buy from the Dollar Tree for your garden. Um, as a lot of people on the internet, I'm like obsessed with the Dollar Tree, and I'm always looking for great deals um, compared to like other stores. Um, before I buy things anywhere else, I pretty much always check the Dollar Tree first because they over and over again always surprise me about the items that they have. Well, as you can tell from some of my videos previously, um, this year I tried out my very first garden and I'll probably do a quick video showing you some of the um, really inexpensive ways that you can start a garden if you're if you're like me and you don't have a lot of yard space or or if you don't have a lot of money to start a garden, I can tell you some of the ways that I've done things for really cheaply. Um, as you saw in one of my videos, I sh already showed you kind of a little garden um, Dollar Tree haul that I did where I purchased all of my seeds. All of my seeds, with the exception of like the tomato plant and the potatoes, came from the Dollar Tree and pretty much all of them have sprouted, like all of these that you see in the garden. They also have a lot of stuff that I didn't buy. Some of the things that they have that you might want to check out in your garden was they had these little two foot trellises and I went to Lowe's at after I went to the Dollar Tree and the little two foot trellises at Lowe's are like four dollars and they're a dollar at the Dollar Tree. They have lots of um, lawn ornaments and garden ornaments and little plaques and things. They have hanging baskets. Um, they have a bracket. I hung up my topsy-turvy on a bracket hooked to our shed that came from the Dollar Tree. It came with the screws. It was awesome. Um, but they have lots and lots of things. They even have gardening soil, although I think gardening soil would probably be cheaper at Lowe's or somewhere like that. Um, but they have lots of gardening tools. They have, um, little shovel things and the little, I don't even know what they're called, but the little, like, fort things <laughs> that, um, have, like, three or four prongs. I think it's called, like, a cultivator or something like that where it just kind of helps loosen the soil. Um, since I was doing container gardening, I didn't need that. But they do have those. Um, they have, like, pruning shears and little gardening, um, scissors and stuff like that. So they have a lot of things for the garden if you're planning on planning a garden. There's still time to do a garden, and I guess that's why I'm doing so many gardening videos right now, because that's one of the things I'm trying to do to help save money for my family. And so last night I went to the Dollar Tree because I saw, um, where one of my friends picked up a couple of these items and I had to go see for myself. I had to go to a couple of Dollar Trees because I guess they were sold out of these items and some of them that I went to, but I finally found them and so let me show you. What As I mentioned earlier, they do have lots of gardening tools, yeah. um, but I picked up this pair of pruning shears and it feels really well made to be from the Dollar Tree. Um, it's really easy to use. Another thing I got was this um, twine stuff and the reason I got this is because I do have some um, vegetables that I need to stake up like the tomatoes and stuff and so I figured this can help me um, tie some of the plants to the stakes to help them get started um, growing up the pole so I did get some twine um, again at Lowe's this kind of thing would have been like three dollars for this same size roll these scissors absolutely more than that they one of the things I was really surprised about, and this is like the main thing I went in there for, but they had these hummingbird feeders. I was really, really surprised about this. My grandfather has always been a huge hummingbird fan, and he's always had hummingbird feeders at his house, and so I've wanted to have one myself. Um, it is plastic, but it is really good quality and a pretty good size um, to be from the Dollar Tree. And I showed my mom, and she was like, oh, well, that's really good, you know. Um, it's just as good as what you'd get at Walmart or whatever. So she and I went to Hobby Lobby, and I went down their spring aisle where they have trellises and garden things and stuff like that. And side note, the Dollar Tree has a ton of, like, the little stakes, decorative stakes, and, um, like, little plaques and stuff, the little lawn ornaments and stuff. The same thing at Hobby Lobby was like $8. 
So why pay $8 when you can go to the Dollar Tree and pay a dollar? But anyways, the Hummingbird Feeder, um, one of them at Hobby Lobby that was very, very similar to this. They did have some glass kind and stuff that was more expensive, and that's understandable because they were prettier and all that stuff. But their basic generic Hummingbird Feeder at Hobby Lobby looked pretty much exactly the same as this. It was the same height, the same size, but the little plastic globe on it had like a little bit different shape. But theirs was $15.00. Why would you pay $15 for that? Like, I love supporting Hobby Lobby and stuff because, you know, they have really good values and they have a lot of great things. And I love going in Hobby Lobby and I've bought lots of things from them before. Um, but, in fact, I actually bought some stuff from them the last night when I went. But if you can buy something just as good for a dollar, why not? Um, so... I'm going to be putting this hummingbird feeder on my porch. If you don't have like a porch with like some hooks or whatever to hang things, the Dollar Tree did have lots of little um, like poles and stuff that you can stick in the ground and hang them on the poles. Um, I went a little bit more decorative to hang up the hummingbird feeder. I have just a standard hook outside, but I decided I would make it look a little bit cuter, and I saw these on an end cap on the way out, because I was just going to hang it on the hook outside or whatever. But I thought this was really cute, because there's a little hummingbird, and he has like a little um, see-through gem in the middle. But anyway, I just thought it would be really cute to hang this hummingbird feeder outside on this little thing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to do a really cheap hummingbird nectar that you can do inside at your house and then I'm going to hang it up outside and let you guys see. Okay guys, so I'm going to show you a recipe of how to make the nectar or whatever that liquid is called to put inside of our Dollar Tree hummingbird feeder. It's very very easy. Um, Please excuse like the nastiness of our stovetop. We just finished cooking dinner and I haven't had a chance to detail it out yet or whatever. But let's get started making this nectar. It's very, very simple. What you do is you're going to use one part sugar to four parts water. I went ahead and measured out some water and put it in this jug, which is what we'll be storing the um, nectar stuff in. So there is four cups of water. And then I'm just going to put <laughs> then I'm just going to put a cup of sugar inside of that, and then, and then you just um, heat it together till the sugar melts. It doesn't even have to boil, but just um, heat it until the sugar melts, and then you can um, pour it into the thing once it cools down. So let's get this melted. You could also add some red food coloring to this. Hummingbirds are really attracted to the color red. That's why most hummingbird feeders that you see are red because they're really attracted to that color. If you had a blue hummingbird feeder, you probably wouldn't have any hummingbirds coming to see. So anyway, that's just a little bit of information of why the hummingbird feeders are red and why so much of the liquid that you buy in stores is red. But why buy the liquid? You can make your own. I'm pretty sure most people have sugar and water at their house anyway. As you can see, now our sugar is all melted and it just looks like water again. So I'm going to pour it into our jug and let it cool for a little while. And then I'm going to put it in the hummingbird feeder and then we'll hang it outside and see how it looks.
Okay, guys, as you saw, my mother-in-law saved the day and brought some red food coloring for us. And so I just let it cool and put it in the thing, and it looks just like store-bought nectar. So now I'm going to hang it up on my cool little thing. And there we go. So cool.